as a craft beer, we can do this. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and welcome to another edition of BML here on BAOS. This evening, we got a banger as always. Uh, huge shout outs to our peoples at Wellington Brewery in Guelph. Uh, we got their latest mix pack. Let me just get that. Bam. So, this is their fifth edition or fifth volume of their Welly rebooted mix pack. Uh, this is a banger. Uh, before we get into it, huge shout outs to our new setup. So, this is our first video we're shooting with our brand new camera and brand new lens. Uh, we're stepping up the game for you guys. We just wanted to invest in this. We take this YouTube and uh, video game very, very seriously. So let us know what you think. Let us know if you notice a difference. If you can tell the bokeh in the background is looking a little more lit right there. You know what I mean? Got a bit of different things going on. So let us know in the comments what you think. Um, all right. This latest mix pack has four beers. We have, starting from the right over here, we're going to rock with the Ice Eater Single Hop Chinook Pale Ale. Uh, then we're going to rock the Candle Burner Cold Brew Coffee IPA. It sounds fantastic. And we're going to got the Spice Odyssey Chai Latte Stout. For some reason, I think that's uh, familiar to me, but maybe I'm tripping. And lastly, the Imperial Russian Stout, uh, which Scott and I had in like 2011 in our first ever beer trip. So uh, I'm excited for that. Let's get into it. Yeah, you see that. Ooh, look at that Birkin, guys. Look at that shit. This is the Brewheads opener. Uh, this is my favorite piece of um, beer paraphernalia. We have the code in the bio if you want to grab this bad boy. He brought it back just because I kept busting these balls. So, let's do it. So, we're starting with the uh, single hop Chinook Pale Ale, uh, Ice Eater. Um, so, yeah, Wellington do these uh, mix packs very, very regularly. Um, I believe we've uh, managed to get hold of the last couple. And funnily enough, the day I'm recording this, this is Saturday, November 24th, I believe. Um, today is the launch event for their, I think it's called UVB Stout. It looks ridiculous. There's 12 different variants of this style they're doing. And it just, it's crazy. Like, super, super cool that they're doing that. All right, look at this. Oh, you see the difference in this production, people. So this is the, uh, shout to Ben Hill as well. Um, Ice Eater Chinook Single Hot Pale Ale, 5.2%. Um, Chinook is a, you know one of the classic hops. It's from Hey Ho Hops in Elma, Ontario. I've heard of them uh, from a few people recently. Um, ooh, smells good, 35 IBU. Nice uh, sort of orangey color there, a little bit opaque. Smells a little tropical. Mate, get in ya. Nice, chill, approachable, um, nice and tropical, a little bit earthy and dank. Um, yeah, super light, 5.2, so it's, uh, you know, you knock back a few of these. Heating up the oven. Um, slightly bitter, definitely got that kind of, um, you know, that, that, I guess I said earthiness, but sort of that, uh, I guess that's the best word for it, that earthiness that comes from the Chinook, it's, it's a... Uh, um, yeah, a nice classic hop. It works really well by itself. I had a few Chinook only. Pale Ale specifically. I don't see it as much in IPAs, but it works super well. Very cool that it's local. All Ontario. Yeah, this is great. I really enjoy it. I haven't had many Pale Ales like this for uh, recently, I would say. Um, quite enjoy that. Lovely drop. Next beer. We have Candle Burner Coffee IPA. 6.2%. It is brewed with... Ethiopian Sidamo coffee from Planet Bean. Uh, we mentioned it, this a lot on uh, on videos, but um, Tiff and I specifically, I know Scott's into it, but not as much as Tiff and I. We're a huge, huge coffee fans. So, ooh, yeah. So anytime we can get our hands on some fire-ass coffee, mate, we do. Uh, I've had a couple of coffee IPAs. I know um, Bell City made one, which was quite fire. Uh, and they end up canning it because it was so popular, which is dope. Um, so what does this say? Look at that. Nice. Come on. Get that boogs. Get that boogs. There it is. Look at that. Nice. Slightly opaque as well. Um, uh, what was I saying? Hints of blueberry on the finish and grapefruit. I guess sometimes coffee has some wicked fruity vibes, which I quite like. So without further ado, get it in your mouth. Mm. Yep, exactly what they said. 
wow, earthy. It's got that, um, it's kind of like if you guys have ever had like a white stout where it's basically like a blonde ale with um, coffee and stuff. Um, it gives me that vibe. Definitely got the, um, I'm getting that fruit in the back end. Like that, the grapefruit for sure. It's like a slight bitterness and a little touch of like citric tropical kind of vibe. Blueberries maybe will come through. I never even really get it much in coffee to be honest because blueberry in and of itself when you think about it, it's a real subtle flavor like a lot of blueberry beers will have an additional fruit in there maybe to give it more of a color or to to add a little boost to it because the blueberry flavor is very very soft um, but it seems to work quite well in this mm -mm -mm. what I say six two yeah another winner these are crushable I really do like these uh, these rebooted packs man like They've been so consistent. They've always had an interesting batch of beers in there. Um, I can even remember some of the other ones that had that like that against the current, um, that black currant sour, which I was a huge fan of. Um, yeah, it's just it's like a nice way to sample a bunch of Wellington's beers, and I feel like they're a brewery that have been around for so long that are continually up in the game. And I'm seeing a lot of my beer nerd friends who live in the area. Uh, she has to sit and Adam specifically. Um, oh, and like Ren, uh, like just loving them, loving everything they're doing. So like always a pleasure to uh, get some worldly beers. All right, third one, Spice Odyssey Chai Latte Stout, 7%. Uh, oh, this is so nice. Yes. Nice and dark. Um, now, the L word was used in there, latte. Now I'm hoping that means what I think it means. Tiff, do you think it means it? Lattes. Lactose, let's see. Come on, come on. Oh, maybe this. No, lactose, yes, hashtag team lactose. Comment below if you are team lactose. And if you're not, well, you know, sorry to hear that. Uh, so this is a 7% um, chai latte stout. So essentially a stout that was uh, brewed with chai tea. Um, usually they would probably brew it first rather than pop it in there so it's not too astringent. They can nail the exact level of bitterness that they want the tea to be. And then chuck in some lactose to give it that body. Also, because lactose is the most fire and junk, we all know that. Um, yeah, black tea and chai. They got uh, yeah, cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, cloves. Love it. Um, I swear I've had this before. I might be completely off, but mate, look at that. Pretty dark. Get in ya. Oh yeah. Oh wow. I always find uh, the often. I'm not sure if this is from the lactose. It's definitely got a real solid sweetness. Extraordinarily creamy and smooth. A little on that viscous, like the thicker side. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, the chai is um pretty pronounced. All of the spices are all coming through. Cardamom, cloves, a little touch of ginger in the back. Um, it works really well with a stout, and this is quite light. Seven percent is still very crushable. Normally, these type of things would be a little higher ABV that I've seen before. Um, I think the lactose works really, really well with it. Of course, I think that, uh, but you know. Is like it really does work and even all the lactose haters out there like the team no lactose folks like nine out of ten of you guys also uh, like <laughs> lactose in your stout so man you know this is for everyone mm. yeah man wow that's great love it last beer so the Russian Imperial Stout now this guy's only uh, eight percent which is surprising this was the first beer I'll never forget it when Scott and I went to the brewery in 2011, we did like an Ontario beer tour, and um, it was the first beer I'd ever even seen, let alone purchased. It was just a sticker on a silver bullet can. And I was like, oh man, this is sick. Like, it's fresh from the brewery. I didn't know anything about that type of stuff back then. So it was my first experience. Plus I knew, yeah, I mean like an 8% stat that would have knocked my face off back then. Um, probably still does now. So look at this, mate. This is pouring a beer. Look at that super dark, great tan head there. Coffee colored head, whatever you want to call that. Come on, adjust. Why isn't it adjusting? Come on, come on, come on. Maybe it doesn't do it every time. It's just, no, oh, there we go. Oh, keeps going between, oh, I have to block my face. Yeah, because your face is tracked. Face is tracked. Learning how we go, guys. This is the first video. To for now figuring this out. Um, so full body style, jet black, which is deep tan head. I love that word to describe it. Uh, dark chocolate and coffee. Malt, toffee flavors, dark fruit, bam. Mate, I'm about it. All I'm gonna say to you guys, of course, put it in ya. Cheers. Beauty. Wow. That's quite sweet. Maybe especially compared to like a 
a, 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 you know, a chai latte, like a, a lactose stout, which of course we expect to be sweet. It is really sweet, surprisingly. I'm not sure why. Getting the chocolate, getting the roasty, it's a little tangy. Um, definitely doesn't taste 8%, this is super smooth. You know what, bit of a dumb question. I always wondered why is it a Russian Imperial stat? Like what makes it a Russian, what, what, what's the Russian portion of it? Um, I see some beers, uh, you know, be marketed as such where, you know, sometimes there was one I had the other day that had the, the acrylic alphabet used for the name of the beer, but it wasn't called a Russian Imperial stat. So I'd be curious if anyone knows, hit the comments, fellas and ladies, sorry. Yeah, this is great. Super, uh, I don't recall this beer, to be honest. I only ever had it back then. I guess this is the 2018 version. Um, super fire. As always, guys, um, Wellington killing the game. Make sure you go pick up that Welly um, rebooted mix pack. Volume 5 should still be around, I hope. Uh, I know we got to this a little late. We're a little behind on some of these videos. So I'm catching up. Um, that is it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, mate, boom. Lock my face. There you go. Smash the thumbs up. Hit subscribe below and hit the notification bell, Tiffany. Yeah. So you know when the new new drops. Follow us on social media at Beer Was Podcast and check out the long form audio. Um, I'm not sure once again when this video is going to drop, but we've had a whole bunch from Colorado, uh, moving into some stuff from uh, Ontario, back to some Quebec stuff. We've got to, uh, from all over right now. It's very exciting. Great content. That is it, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And as always, get in ya. Yeah.